for this matchup. I haven't seen it much at a high level. I've seen Shine play against like Chag with Lucas, and it seems decently even, but I'm just not sure of the intricacies of it. But you know what? That's why I'm here. I'm here to learn. I feel like in the in the range game, Lucas wins. In the boxing game, Inkling wins. Uh, her burst options uh, are better than Lucas's. Lucas's range uh, options just seem like they would beat out what what uh, uh, Inkling would like to throw out. I can see that. Lucas could put up a real big struggle to let him get let Inkling get in, but Inkling is still fast enough to where Lucas's moves have just enough startup to like to uh. That was so. What cute. What the hell? That was cute. Yeah, but uh, Inkling is just fast enough to like catch the startup of Lucas's uh, projectiles if he expects it. So we're really going to have to see a lot of adaption coming from both players to see how they uh, counteract each other. Did my man just really ink the whole stage? I mean, honestly, we don't really see people doing that a lot. It slows you down, and the fact uh, if you need to do a grounded combo that requires you to run, it'll mess up your timing. Yeah. All right, very nice landing with Nair. Gets the jab lock. Ooh, just goes with a full rapid jab there. Yeah, still pretty much painting uh, painting Lucas fully. All right, very nice tech on the platform. Not going to get hit by the PK Thunder 2 there. Yeah, go for the down tilt F smash. But, uh, actually just going in the wrong direction. Ooh, Ooh tipper F smash. Batter up. And only 39% on uh, on Shine. That stick hurts. That's, that's the stick of truth right there, dude. <laughs> Oh, I see. But again, Muffin has not actually gotten damage on Shine yet. And okay, as I say that, just Fair is out of disadvantage. He's like, I got you, man. <laughs> Muffin needs to find his way out of this uh, corner and is out of the... You know, oh, he found his way best. out. <laughs> he, he found his way out. He just took his stock. <laughs> yeah, not, not the best DI in the Booyah there. I don't know. I don't even know if that was DI-able, but... It looks like he DI'd in on the up throw. Oh, back throw... Or back air sending forward, obviously. Uh, who would have thought? Right? Yeah, right now. We, we, just watching Shine's inkling today, he's been getting so many shield grabs and people just landing on him unsafely, and he's gotten so much damage for it. Lucas doesn't really have that, like, spacing to be able... Never mind. Never mind. He got that out smash. I was going to say, Lucas doesn't really have that spacing to just hit uh, inkling and then run away and bait out the dash grab like other characters could. All right. Uh, actually, uh, popping up behind him on the neutral getup. If your opponent's actually standing like right next to the ledge and you neutral getup, um, more than half of the time you will actually stand up behind them. Mm -hmm. So you well, gotta watch out for that. Yeah, you get that free back throw. A lot of characters that do like to, uh, t who do have back throws that kill will really just stand there on the ledge, watch your neutral getup, and then get a free back throw. Back there not gonna kill just at 175. Really weird uh, PK Thunder angle. Okay. A strong hit of fair actually gonna I'm, kill right there. I'm just get I'm him with the heels. Yeah, that was just really suspect from Muffin. I didn't. There was no real reason to uh, up B right there, and it just put him in such a bad position. So she ain't gonna take game one. I don't know. We got popcorn over there. <laughs> That's what's in here the whole time. I'm blind, dude. Where are your glasses? In my bag. I mean, all right. So game two, we're gonna be going to Memento's <laughs> Battlefield version. <laughs> Yep, no switches here, but oh, no, no mind, we got default Lucas coming in. I think Muffin is that person to like, change his Lucas color depending on what stage they go to. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got the Persona uh, Persona 4 color. A little bit harder to see Lucas on this color of Mementos. Oh, maybe that was a play. You can't, you can't, ja you can't hit me if you can't see me, but you know what? You know how she needs counteracting? He's painting him. Look at him, he's sticking out like a sore thumb. All right, very nice down tilt conversion into a full jab there. Oh, I like him with a PK fire yeah. and a back throw. I like that. Any tech option pretty much was going to get caught by that. Oh, no, the stage... No, okay, okay, I was going to say... <laughs> okay, I really thought, like, with the angle of Battlefield, like, the stage back would have actually killed him, but you know what? No, actually. He was just fine. I forgot how good Inkling's up B is, or how far it goes. All right, tries to get a pivot grab there, just barely missing, and very nice grab on a neutral, gra uh, neutral uh, get up. Ooh, oh. dodging into that. Although Shine did have a really good, uh, really good start, he's actually been able to even this back up 93%. Right now, you really want to take advantage of Inkling. Right now, he doesn't have any ink. What? You good, bro? <laughs> what? I, I think <laughs> looking like an old man out there. <laughs> I, I think he didn't realize he was out of ink. But again, once Inkling is out of ink, if you could put the pressure on him and not let him get his ink, a lot of his moves become weaker, and it's so good. Uh, 
so good to put on pressure because they're just going to try to run away and get ink. A it's, lot of players will just panic. Yeah, and uh, adding on top of that, um, almost all of Inkling's um, special attacks you can't use without the ink. Mm -hmm. So you kind of just limit half of her moveset there. Oh, back air actually taking it. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. He was at like 180. Maybe got him at the at the very beginning of back air. So it was strong hit. True. Right now, <laughs> right now Inkling is just doing the splits with these nairs. She needs to try to open him up. What are you doing? Hey, man. What are you doing? <laughs> he didn't get hard punished for it yet. He's and still not getting working. punished. Okay, there it is. There it is. I hate Shine so much. <laughs> I hate him so much. But you know what? You do you. <laughs> Alright, oh, time yeah. to get the bat. First person to air dodge out of that. Shine again. You know, we all know him as a Lucas main. He knows those tricks himself. He knows exactly how to get out of them or how to avoid him. Batter up. Can't avoid that, though. <laughs> Big F smash coming in. Maybe uh, just full. Oh, he's still doing short hop nares. Never mind. <laughs> That's another one. All right. Yep. Again, just getting the neutral tech into jab. Such a potent option. If you mess up your uh, your ledge trap or your trap right there, he'll just he'll come out with that frame three jab, and you'll get so much damage put on you. Yeah, that's really crazy too. Cause uh, down. Are what? you nice? You kind of good. All right. All right. You're kind of pretty. That was. Wait. What are you? What are you? What are you Muffin? doing there? Wait, Muffin, what were you going for there? He's probably going for a PK fire, but um, he missed. So right now, Muffin does have 61% on Shine, but again, with the nature of Inkling, this is all even. Again, he's still chipping in. He's chipping out uh, Muffin, and he's slowly bringing it back. All right, very nice snare there. Back throw? Yes. Oh, DI Ooh, was the not the, yeah, not the greatest. We're, I like the, uh, the early up B. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Oh, goes Second for the time. double F smash. Why Why the hell not? Oh, oh wow. calling him out right there with the upper, but not get a kill. Oh, wow. Very nice rope snake oh, to this the ledge. Is, this but is this is... Be... Wow. Goes above, but... Yeah, I really like that idea. Killed. No reason to go to ledge. You know that charge at down smash is coming. The judge, oh, wow. The du judge not looking too hot on the tech there. Yeah, that... Again, missing that tech. The only reason he died there, and... Muffin gonna actually take game two. I do like how Shine upbeat past the ledge though. It was really good. He saw Muffin charging the down smash. Like, I know if I grab this ledge, I will be dead. So he went back up, and he did get punished, but he didn't die for it. So yeah, just uh, just kissing the ledge, uh, the the blast zone there. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't. I'm not. I didn't see where we're going. Uh, smash roll. Left side. Yeah, it would be smash roll. That would make sense. Yeah, really good stage for Inkling. You have uh, you have that so much room to carry uh, your characters coast to coast with your combos. Small blast zones that means you're gonna die to burial combos uh, a lot earlier. Yeah, you gotta watch out too, uh, because Lucas really loves this uh, this type of stage too. Oh my gosh, I'm often already trying to end Sheena with that back air, but you know what? If I can avoid it, I'm not gonna let it hit me. Four throw. Okay, I do like Muffin with the immediate tech down tilt, just uh, getting Sheena away from him. All right, just trying to box right now. Gets the grab on the whip jab there. Oh, okay. Very nice. Yeah, going uh, from stage to stage, that's really good. If you just uh, if you just do roller jump, jump up, he equally is able to travel uh, stage to stage. And you really don't want to deal with the mix-up of the PK Thunder and the down smash. All right, very nice back throw there. Bad. And it's going to work against him. DI. DI might not have been good, but that mm -hmm. might have just actually been the percentage to kill. So, he gets up from up and pretty decent, pretty decent lead he has right now. Only 60%. He wants blood. Look at all of this damage he's just oh eating. He took so much damage just from just from trying to get back to ledge. Oh, I love the parry, but I think he missed his turnaround input for the jab. Muffin kind of low-key looking like an electric snake right now. Alright, I like, like that. Do you, do you really want to come back to stage? His, yeah, his ledge trapping has been really good this game is, uh, especially. Like, Sheena hasn't even gotten him in a... The right. up percentage as he gets up there up aired. I've been wrong. That that keeps scaring me. But another back, back throw? throw? No. Nope. But, oh! Yeah. Good air dodge. He had to I'm pretty sure he had to air dodge to survive there, and once he was there, it was all up to Muffin to whether he wanted to kill. Maybe he got well, maybe he lost that stock on purpose. <laughs> get rid of your rage, get yourself a good up throw up air, and now all you have to do is jab him like eight times, put him at eighty, get a roller, it'll be even. Mm -hmm. But as is happening, Muffin. He's looking like a monster right now. He's just hitting Sheena at every corner. Again, right, that air nice PK freeze. 
Oh, probably expect Whoa, Whoa, give me went, that stock. He went down. He for wants it. it. Okay, good tech though. Not gonna kill just yet. Barely, uh, barely gonna live that one. Tries to go over the uh, for the two frame with the neutral B, the uh, PK freeze, but up oh air. Oh my god! I was gonna say head bangers going off. Lucas is trying to knock him out of here. Down Whoa! On the ledge. That is actually <laughs> the muffin special. Playing friendly, uh, playing friendly with him. He'll like to just stand on the stage there and just go for a down smash. Hits so far below the ledge. You know, as a lot of people played as Lucas will realize. So muffin up two one right now. Shine, uh it's a large hitbox. I, uh, I wouldn't see why not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now, Shina is now down 2-1. Again, I know he said he, was going, he wanted to go all Inkling, but maybe he's thinking about going another character. I'm sure Shina knows. He's like, if I go this other character, I know I have a much better chance of beating Muffin, or if he's really going to try to stick it out and adapt, mm -hmm. adapt with the Inkling. And I am bad. Did not look at what the stage pick was going to be. He's thinking about it. Smash roll again. Ooh, Shina's thinking. No, 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 no. Okay, I think he's going to stay the character. I think he's thinking about how to adapt. It's like, he's pressing buttons right here. If I hit him like this. Wait, don't do Wait, that. why'd you give him the dragon? He's going to slay it, bro. <laughs> oh, never mind. Yeah, he's helping him fly. Okay, okay. We good, we good. So, yep, Shino's sticking it out with the inkling. Running it right on back to Smash Roll. So I'm curious about what, uh, what changes Shino's going to make. I feel like the changes that Shinae needs to make is, uh, well, well, I would say be in his face more. I would say be, uh, be a little bit smarter when he's up against, uh, against him in boxing range. Yeah, like you were saying earlier, uh, Inkling does win the boxing match, and I think he's been like trying to play at that mid range a little too much. And Lucas right there, that's when he's probably the most unpredictable because you don't know what he's gonna throw out. If he just keeps boxing and pressing Lucas, he's not gonna be able to get this uh, aggression. And like we're seeing right now, Shine uh, doing pretty good. Oh, yummy, yummy. Drinking the paint. <laughs> that was such a wild uh, reveal to people who are like, wait, you can absorb paint? How does that even make sense? You know, about, what, a good 20% from that? That was good. I, I'm, just, uh, I'm trying to find out an answer myself, but here we go. Whoa, PK what are you doing? Oh, he did an F smash. What the hell? Up throw up here, not going to kill. Yeah, that was, a, that was a free paintbrush to the face. What are you doing right there? I gonna go with a uh, rope snake right there. Oh, get up attack! Not gonna get punished. Very nice roar back here. Gonna go. Oh, oh yeah! As soon as it hits him, it just explodes. I'm surprised Shina's been throwing them out, but another neutral get up. Not gonna die. Yeah, oh wow! Yeah. I actually thought Luke's uh, window would be pretty low, but I've been wrong before. She ain't gonna take that first stock commandingly. What shield pressure from Muffin right there? I'm pretty sure he thought he was gonna like hit the down tilt, and then he's like, you know, you know what? Oh, huh, didn't think low. he was gonna. I didn't think he was gonna die there. I think he, he he waited a little bit too long to come back. Yeah, definitely. All right, yep. very nice. Opting the jab. jab. Yeah, now you've got Lucas pretty much fully painted. He got hit twice. He's already at 53. All right, that paint's slowly going away, but it's still taking the multiply damage here. Mm -hmm. Paint's such an interesting mechanic in this game because it's just so, like, good. There's no real counterplay. The only counterplay is don't get hit. It's also interesting, too, because, like, you don't need full paint to get the maximum multiplier on it. Or even, even like, the minimum multiplier is so good, and even if you have, like, a, a fleck of paint on you, you still take the multiplier like it hasn't changed. Yeah. Kind of crazy. I'm right, going to throw out another splat bomb there. Oh, damn, these, uh, Booyah these get up attack. Muffin is really... This is, I think, where Muffin is his weakest right now. On the ledge. What? Uh, okay, I like it. Yeah, on the ledge, Muffin has just been really just doing a lot of panic options. Only neutral get up, only get up attack. Haven't even seen a roll, haven't seen many jumps. It just seems. Actually, uh, quite a few times Muffin tried to uh, drop down double jump, but every time he started to drop down, Shine already had a down tilt ready for him. That's true. Down tilt's so good. It hits on. It lasts on the ledge for so long. But again, Muffin is just. Whoa, he wow, went back fast, and Muffin actually turned the situation around. He was trapped on the ledge for so long. Honestly, both these players are really good at keeping you on the ledge. Back though, I understand not uh, not really being able to uh, to tech PK Thunder one. Uh, a lot of multi hits, an electric hit on top of that. Mm -hmm. They're not really knowing when you need to tech it. Mm -hmm. right, I actually point. like that there too. Right now, Muffin uh, needs to find his way off this ledge. Definitely, if you're uh, if I'm muffin right now, I need to get as much damage before I eventually die because I'm at 192. I'm predicting a death. <laughs> so <laughs> gotta activate the passive, but not gonna help him right Unfortunate. there. Unfortunate. Nine percent didn't get that much of a uh, damage. 
So right now, this is just completely even. But as I say even, Sheen, Sheena is kind of getting opened up by Muffin. But finally getting an opening of his own. Not going to get the, the forward air. I think he wanted to go for Nair right there, but going to miss. All right, just gonna jump over the PK freeze, lands with a fair, tries like to get a grab, but gets hit jab. Yeah, I like that full hop over the PK freeze. Shine understanding the arc of which we, it, which PK freeze does travel, so he was able to maneuver around it. All right, Muffin from Mars here, just trying to hold center stage once more with PK fire and rope snake. Wow, Muffin is Muffin's uh, what's his word? Patience, so. So good. He's just letting. If I'm, a, if that was me right there, I'd be like, what is he gonna do? Come on, tell me. F smash. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Um. Okay. Yeah. Muffin. Uh, batter up. Yeah. Batter up. Get out of here. That's the ninth inning, my guy. Muffin was playing so well that last game. Like Shana, Shana was doing really good at just holding Muffin on the ledge, not letting him out. But once Muffin got back and started boxing, I think that's where Shane fell apart. He was. Shane was really good at wave punishing Muffin.